in this video we're going to take a look in more detail at this version tech mouse now this is available on amazon pretty cheaply um, i picked this up for eight pounds now it's it's gone back up to around 12 or 13 pounds which is still quite cheap um, but i would keep an eye on that if you are interested it should drop back down or i should imagine on a regular basis now what I wanted to show you first was how similar in design this is to a mouse by Anker. Now I bought this Anker mouse on the right uh, back in 2014 uh, and that was £18. And the uh, this one is almost an identical copy as you can kind of see here. They have taken everything and just copied it. Even down to the braided cord on the mouse and just all all of the <laughs> the design is the same i suppose we haven't got any any lighting down the side on this this one they have opened it up on the case and made this sort of semi-translucent so that uh, the light shines through now on the anchor mouse as you change the dpi settings i think there are only three dpi settings on here it changes color to indicate which uh, setting is active uh, and that was configurable through the software now this, this mouse doesn't require any drivers, um, nothing at all. So you just plug it in and all of the mouse buttons will work, including these ones down the side, uh, which is quite impressive. Um, it's got, uh, how many DPI settings? It's got four DPI settings, 1200, uh, 1600, 2400 and 3600 DPI. And you cycle through pressing the button like that and it, it flashes to show you that it's changed, but you're not quite sure which which setting it is until you start moving the mouse around. Um, the the colours, like I say, don't indicate anything. They just cycle through different colours. Uh, I love the uh, text under here. Colourful glare, gaming mouse. Lovely. Um, it feels like this anchor mouse. Uh, for all intents and purposes, it's the same thing. Um, it is pretty good for the price. Uh, I can't really grumble. Uh, one of the kids has asked for this, so uh, it's going on uh, my daughter's PC. Um, one thing you might want to do is, like I said, it, the drivers, you don't need any, um, but you might want some software. So if I chuck that out the way, bring this over. Now, this piece of software here, you can map the buttons. So on the mouse, if you click into this dialogue, can you see when I click the mouse buttons, it shows you which mouse button uh, you're pressing. So if I'm pressing the left mouse button, that one at the top shows a kind of orangey color, next one down for the right button and so on. So you can um, figure out those uh, mouse button four and five, which ones are which. They're not the way around I thought they would be. So that's handy for mapping it into something that isn't the default. Um, so it will do forward and backwards in browsers by default, but you may want it to go up to the top of the web page or down to the bottom. I uh, And I, I think that's kind of useful. I use it on my tilt wheel actually. So the, the this mouse, although the um, it's got a nice wheel, nice action on that, semi hard to depress, it's not, not the easiest one to click. I guess you don't want to click it accidentally anyway, um, but it's not a tilt wheel for, for left and right. Um, uh, but that's why I use on mine at work is uh, it's got a tilt wheel so I can go up to the top of a document or down to the bottom. So you might want to simulate that on buttons four and five instead of uh, back. And I often use uh, close as button four on my mice. Um, so you can do that through here. You configure what you want the button to do. Dead easy and this software is free uh, and works pretty well from, uh, from what I can see. I've had a go with it and it works a treat. Uh, works great for this mouse. So I would have said, yep, even though it doesn't require drivers, I would go and get this uh, software called X Mouse Button Control. Um, it works really well for remapping. Uh, and making you do more with with the mouse. What is actually quite neat is that you can add in a profile um, and you can 
switch the button profiles out per application. So if you did have something like Notepad++ open, you can have a button profile for Notepad++ where buttons 4 and 5 did different things in that application only, and then do a different one for Chrome or whatever. So I think that's useful. Um, anyway, I'm, I'm really pleased with this mouse for the price, uh, especially coupled with this software, uh, and I would recommend it. Um, look out for the price drop in. Um, keep an eye on that using a site like Camel Camel Camel. Uh, that will tell you what the price history was on a product on Amazon uh, and you can set it up to do alerts on uh, if a price changes. So you get an email uh, if it goes below a certain threshold. So set one of those up if you're interested. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you want to see an unboxing of this very unspectacular uh, box that it came in, then uh, check out my other videos. Uh, anyway, thanks very much.